My name is Laurie Cudmore. I've just graduated uh, with first class honours in ceramics. This project is about investigating the use of recycled materials such as glass, uh, sanitary ware, bricks and uh, porcelain pottery to recreate um, a functional material that could be used as wall tile, floor tile, cladding for buildings, uh, possibly in kitchens as work surfaces, tabletops and bathroom fittings. Right, well we've taken these, uh, pro these different recycled materials, we really didn't want to include any plastics and we've used a heat process to bind them together and we've come up with recipes that are now tried and tested and will give us a, a pretty regular um, texture and is uh, been tested for it to be frost free and hard wearing so that we can actually go out into the commercial world and present this to society as a, a much more um, environmentally friendly product and then you can take recycled materials again because you can take the product that we make and crush it down and recycle it again so technically it can be cradle to cradle to cradle and be used ad infinitum which means there is less pressure on our natural resources. The project has now reached a stage of a conclusion for where it was going from but it's obviously now set up a, a new um, target because we're at the point where this product could now be commercialised. So we're talking to partners and looking at the um, possibility of it going into manufacture. We've just been to 100% Design at Earl's Court in London to test out the market and we've come back with a huge amount of interest. Um, it is a very unique project uh, product. We knew this but we've now had it confirmed. A lot of other people are doing similar things but using resins. We use no resins at all and it is very much a, a great interest to a lot of people, architects and interior designers. So we're actually at the point of it going beyond the research level now um, in its, its sort of present capacity and into the possibility of mass manufacture. I've learnt an enormous amount. I've learnt such a lot about how to be much more specific about processes and recording. Um, I've had the opportunity to put my own ideas into the project about how the process has been developed. I've had a lot of hand in creating colour ranges. Um, which has been very interesting for me and it's just been really exciting working with two people who have had a lot of experience in research and I think it's going to um, affect the way that I work in the future and in such a short period of time I'm not expected to learn quite as much as I have. I came to UCLan to learn about the intricacies of ceramics. I already did ceramics to a certain degree um, but I wanted to learn more in a very short space of time. I certainly did that and my intention was always to have my own workshop. Um, I now had a very successful degree show and I'm, going, I'm moving to East Anglia with my partner and I intend to make both functional wear and more artistic wear. I also hope to have continue, and I think I will, continue to have contact with Dave Binns and Alistair with this project. I certainly don't want to leave it and they've given me reason to believe that they'd like me to continue to be involved, be it from a distance. Unfortunately, I can't stay in Lancashire to be part of it here, but um, I think I'm going to be very busy. It's been fantastic. I've enjoyed it in ways that I never thought I would. I knew it would be interesting. It's been extremely hard work. Um, we work very long hours. We've, it's a very physical um, area that we work in and it's been fantastic. And go, being able to see the project through to um, the 100% design exhibition has been a real bonus because I've watched it on the sidelines whilst I've been a student developing to be a part of it at this exciting stage where it's got a huge amount of potential and to have been a part of that has been fantastic. I couldn't have wished for anything more.